Welcome back, everybody, to the Las Vegas Raiders franchise rebuild. It's season two, with the Raiders off to a one and two start. Our main emphasis this year was to help our quarterback Denzel Stockton be more successful. We've opened up the passing game. He's throwing downfield, playing to his strengths. He's averaging over 300 yards a game in our three games so far, but we fell short against the Broncos last episode and are obviously under 500. Now, today what I wanted to focus on more is trying to get Josh Jacobs going. Averaging only 3.8 yards a carry, our run game has been really weak the first three games. We're still trying to run the ball a fair amount. He's had 16 plus carries in all three games, but it hasn't broken one longer than 12 yards yet. I've tried to look at what I can do with our playbook to get him more success there. I noticed last episode that we didn't run a lot with the fullback in the game. So there's going to be more eye formation in this episode as I adjusted the playbook and I wanted to make sure we were getting some of those runs on first down and again in the red zone. Devontae Adams has been the offensive MVP so far with the new scheme really allowing him to thrive again. And defensively, I love the way Max Crosby is playing, but the defense is going to have some challenges now with Devin White set to miss our next five games. This is going to be a really difficult situation for us to navigate through. So far, I think I'm okay with the injury slider being at, I thought it was at 12. This is all happening on 11. All right, I'm not going to touch it. You know, I think injuries should be a part of seasons. And yeah, sometimes that means that they have a big impact and maybe injuries are a big reason why you're not successful. I'm willing to navigate around that challenge. And right now we're missing a lot of defensive players. Jack Jones banged up last episode. And Jalen Johnson just got hurt in practice again. Practice has been brutal to start the year for us. So the defense is already missing four starters. Makes me nervous about this game against Houston. I'm not going to pin the blame for our start on Denzel Stockton. I do think he's playing pretty well for the most part. He's had his mistakes, but a lot of big plays to help counter those at the same time. I think we can have a top five defense this year, but the injuries are really going to put that to the test. Malcolm Kuntz. We got Marcus Blades, who suddenly has to make his first career NFL start. Hunter Jordan's at linebacker. Like, with those injuries, this looks like a much more average and questionable unit. So I wasn't planning on watching this whole Texans game or anything, but early in the season, I like to let the season unfold slowly. Starting off with a strong touchdown possession, we have Stockton finding Devontae Adams again. But having to slow down C.J. Stroud and this offense shorthanded on defense. And the Texans march down. They answer right back. Second quarter with halftime approaching. And Hunter Jordan makes a play to end a drive as the Texans are up 10-7. We're right before halftime. And getting inside the five, Rashad Bateman playing a big role in the red zone. And the former Gopher gives us the lead. But starting strong in the second half, it is a Zach Moss touchdown, getting Houston back in front. And a big one here, another multi-touchdown day for Devontae Adams. That is three in the first four games. Why don't we jump into this one now? It's fourth quarter, 21-17. Raiders trying to hold on, get back to 500. Four points up, ball on the Houston half. And look at the hard count already getting developed for Stockton. Stockton gives, and Jacobs kind of runs right into Khalil Mack. Play fake. Over the top, intercepted! He overthrew Rashad Bateman. And that is Jalen Petrie who takes it away. Stockton has been extremely interception prone here in his first two years. And I think on these deep throws, there's going to be still a lot of risk. And C.J. Stroud 
Takes over with the Texans offense. He's back to pass. And throws it a little behind Nico Collins, but he comes away with it. And it's a first. Again, we're missing our captain, Devin White, there in the middle. He can take care of a lot of those plays. Good stop on Pierce. Heading left. Good run for Pierce across the 45. Third and two. Stroud fires complete. There's Tank Dell. Kansas City all over Green Bay down below. And they are already 3-0 on the season. If we lose this one and they ain't losing theirs, we'd already be three games back in four weeks. Not a good place to be. Five minutes left to go. Pierce running left. Downhill. Good cut and a first down. Can the shorthanded defense keep Houston out of the end zone? They put all the receivers on the left side. More Pierce and a gain of three. I'm finding going away from the live playbook, CPU teams are running a lot more often. 20 carries now for Damian Pierce. Deep drop, Stroud wants it all, and it's intercepted. There is a flag down, however. The Jerry is need interception for now, and it's coming back. Pass interference. At the two, toss to Pierce, outside, flag down, will this come back? A holding penalty here is the worst place on the field to have it, really. We catch a break. Holding on Alex Ogletree. Not Alec Ogletree, he was a linebacker for the Rams and probably a couple other teams. First and goal, Stroud over the middle and denied by Epps. Is it just me or is Marcus Epps kind of good for us? Here, so oh, Diablo takes him down in the backfield. 11 tackles on the day for Divine Diablo. It's third and goal from the 14. Stroud steps up and throws it away, avoiding the sack. But Houston still has to go for it. Apparently they wanted to prove me wrong. They'll take a field goal. And they have to get another one now. Not a good call. But the offense is now going to have a chance to end the game. 3.13 left. I talked about the running game here at the top. Can they close it out and have their first real positive game of the season? Well, that's a, a pass look if I've ever seen one. First down, and here is Stockton for Devontae Adams down the sideline and staying in bounds. Good veteran play. Another one coming on first down. Bateman this time. Down into field goal range. All aboard the Stockton Coaster. What a ride he's putting us on. 21-20 into field goal range. Jacobs now. Good. Well, not a good carry. It's three yards. Jacobs again up the middle. First down. Texans running out of chances. Carrying again as Houston will be forced to use their last timeout. And we can run this down to about 25-ish seconds. After two more runs. A little concerned we could throw it here. We could end the game if it works. Stockton for the win off the mark. They're going to have a whole minute now. We did get into field goal range, so at least it's a four-point game. They have a minute to go get a touchdown. C.J. Stroud, what a chance he's got now. Stroud back to pass. Floating outside. Dumps it and is picked off. This game is over. Intercepted by Marcus Epps. And the defense ends the day for us.
We'll get to two and two on the season. A little nervous there at the end. These games aren't going to be easy. You know, the difference between winning and losing is often a couple plays at the end. 24-20. Important one for us to win. That's a conference victory. Could be a wild card tiebreaker down the road. You never know. Stockton throws three touchdowns and an interception. Doesn't often have those interception-free days. Big day for Rashad Bateman. Really impressed with this signing so far. Really thinking about an extension. An upgrade here for DJ Reader. Well-established run stopper, but an upgrade never hurts. We had a scenario for this game, and we did bounce back the way we needed to. So we're going to get everybody 2,500 experience. And that means we have a lot of upgrades now to go through. Here's the rookie tight end, Joe Roberts. We'll see if he gets a chance to grow his abilities a little bit this season. He needs a lot of upgrades to really be in-game usable. Hunter Jordan's playing a lot more with Devin White now done for a while, and this will improve his coverage. Still want to try experimenting a little with auto subs to see if I can get a little rotation at some spots. NCAA 14's the last game I know that it worked well. Anthony Clinton earns an upgrade. And this helps out short route running in a big way. Want to see his stats. Is he getting in the game? Not much unless I do it manually. Drafted Marcus Blades after year one. We take him up to a 74 overall. That's a good upgrade. Getting a lot of playtime this year. Everybody loves a good fullback, and I mean everybody. Here's Nolan Irwin to a 76. The rookie Ramon Hayes has been pretty quiet so far, but these players don't often make a huge impact immediately. He did get one sack against the Bills. And let's also upgrade Denzel Stockton. I saw a lot of you calling for Scrambler and Improviser, and Scrambler's lower, so hoping we get short accuracy this way. And I'll take one, along with speed, medium accuracy. A two and two start for the Raiders. And now we take on the Chicago Bears, who are one of the lower scoring teams so far. And the Raiders blow them out, 42-21. to 21. Dominant game. Denzel Stockton, three touchdowns. He did throw another interception. Good game, though, overall. And a really good game for both running backs, Jalen Warren and Josh Jacobs. It is Jacobs' biggest game by far on the season. 130 yards, two touchdowns. Devontae Adams has now scored two touchdowns in four of our first five games of the season. That's hard to even fathom. Interception in this game for Robert Spillane. So now we're three and two, still behind the undefeated Chiefs. And it looks like there's a receiver who is wanting the football this year and isn't getting it. This is Rashad Bateman. Well... He's been used a fair amount. I guess he didn't have a big game in this last week. Not going to promise him that we're going to focus on him. Okay, sometimes you do get a positive outcome from this scenario. So this is the one where the receiver realizes they need to stop being uh, selfish and just be more of a team player. All right, here is the rookie guard, Curtis Ford. I'm hoping for pass block power. We get none of that. The Cowboys are next, and they have a good scoring offense, good scoring defense, but they find themselves at 2-3. and three. Kansas City moves to 6-0, and oh, and that will be their record when we face them in our next game. I'm taking us into the fourth quarter of this game, a game that's been very cleanly played by Denzel Stockton. He has two more touchdowns. Josh Jacobs is having a good day rushing, and we haven't yet seen... Devontae Adams catch a touchdown. He only has one catch for 10 yards. I also saw that DJ Reader is not playing in this game. And our center, Andre James, is also out. So a lot of injuries this year, but 
We should get Devin White back soon. We do have Tyree Wilson healthy again. He just missed four straight. Raiders lead 17-14. Josh Jacobs carrying outside. He's found the opening. And that goes for a first. Hoping for back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Over the middle, Rashad Bateman. Nine yards. On third and one. Back to pass. Stockton over the middle. It's caught. Michael Mayer. Again to the air. Stockton. End zone. And knocked away from Adams. Dallas trying to keep this a one possession game. Third and nine, a run to Jacobs, and he'll lose yardage. And we're giving up a chance at a conversion. So the defense has to protect again versus Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and here's Tony Pollard, gain of four. Pollard right side meets Crosby, who's made a really big impact in the run game this year. He's just affecting every play. He's playing like a real superstar this year. Third down now. Prescott complete. It's Pollard with a great play. Pollard heads outside and turns the corner. He's down the sideline. Out of bounds inside the 20. Attacking the edge until it opens up. Dallas into the red zone now with under six to play. Oh, down below, Jalen Hurts isn't playing this game. I wonder if he's injured. Deep drop, Prescott, and caught! It's a touchdown! Cowboys take the lead. Jake Ferguson. The Raiders now need to answer on this drive. Two tight ends on the field. To the outside, Jacobs has the edge. Way over 100 now and fights his way into Cowboy territory. Play action. Here's Stockton. That's incomplete for Bateman. Covered by Trayvon Diggs. Here's Stockton. This time he connects with Jacoby Myers. And we're into field goal range in just a couple big plays. Shouldn't take us long with this scheme and these playmakers. Off play action. Drives it downfield. That's Myers. Really like this three receiver setup we have now. And Jacobs is spawn inside the 10. So we're not going to run too much more timeouts. But eyeing the lead. And hopefully a two-point conversion. Adams hit down at the eight. Really quiet day for Devontae Adams. He breaks outside. That is caught. Touchdown, Jacoby Myers. I had my eyes on Adams on that play, and I thought he was going to be open for a touchdown as well. We got options in this offense. Very big conversion try now to go up seven. Here's Adams. He caught it. Seven point game. And here's Dallas. Two and three on the season. Has to go get a touchdown now. Good start. Caught at the 44 by Jake Ferguson. Here's Prescott. He's got C.D. Lamb now at the 40. Off play action. Prescott floats it dangerously. Merrig swats it away. It's second down. Pressured up the middle. Prescott gets it away. Without DJ Reader, Milton Williams is playing, and he's the one who applied that pressure. Third and ten. Caught! First down, CeeDee Lamb. Saved a bad throw. Pressured again, and escaping up the middle. Big run for Dak. Up to the 15. 
There's about a minute left in regulation. Here's Prescott. He completes to Michael Gallup inside. No, he dropped it, actually. Got ahead of myself. Marcus Epps. I say his name an awful lot. Third down, Cowboys. Dak feels pressure. Throwing end zone. Caught. Touchdown. What a play from C.D. Lamb. Unreal, man. That's a highlight play from one of the best receivers in the game. It is going to a review, but I have no reason to think it'll be overturned. Writes down, left drag, animation gets interrupted, and then kind of glitches out your standard catch. It stands. Well, somebody's going to have to break this tie. 28 all, 53 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Stockton drives it downfield, and Bateman dropped it. Now we try a run. Jacobs cuts. Nice job getting nine there. That's always risky to run it in that situation. An injury for Dallas also stops the clock. Third down, full yard to go. Stockton running into Jacobs, and that threw off the whole play. They're giving the Cowboys a chance to win this in regulation. A.J. Cole kicks it. Fair caught by Pollard. We're pressing these receivers. Dak will throw. Downfield. Lamb is there for a big gain. 27 on that catch, and Dallas will step it up here. 30 seconds left. Prescott. Crosby sacks him inside the 30. We're trying to force overtime, and we're headed there now. Way too close of a call there with C.D. Lamb taking over that fourth quarter. But to overtime we go. The Raiders win the toss. We're up first. I formation to start the drive. Jacobs following Irwin. Bounces outside. Gets a block. Fighting his way to the 45. 155 for Jacobs as we correct that poor start with the running game. Now we got just a little bit to go to get in field goal range. Caught by Bateman, a spinning catch down to the 42 of Dallas. Takes a touchdown to end the game though from the 42. Stockton, pressure in his lap, gets it to Jacobs. I thought he was about to get sacked. 30 yards away. Stockton pulls it back and gets tackled by Trayvon Diggs. Huge third down. They're going to jam the receivers, try to make a play. Screen for Jacobs, and he's run down by Van Der Esch. Here is a 45-yard field goal try from Carlson. That is good. Raiders up three. Pollard outside. Oh, he's got the edge again. Good start. Here's a fake. Downfield and covered up well by Jalen Johnson. Prescott on third down. Caught first down. Dallas to the Raider 40. With the way the clock is looking too, if they get in field goal range, we're looking at a potential tie. First down, and caught. No one near Gallup. He got the first down with ease. 16 yards, pretty much uncontested. 24 yards away now. Prescott, that's caught by Ferguson. Dallas can win the game here with a touchdown. Handoff, and cutting inside a first down, and that's Tyje Spears. First and 10 for the win. Broken up and nearly picked. That was Quinton Lake who nearly ended the game. 
second down. That is caught for the touchdown. Cowboys win it. Michael Gallup. And the Raiders fall to three and three on the year. Right between those defenders, they couldn't knock it out. What a heartbreaker. Giving up that touchdown at the end of regulation and then the overtime winner. Yeah, we can't be letting quarterbacks have these kinds of games against us. I think we're too talented in the secondary with our pass rushers. But uh, we're missing players right now, and it really shows. We're playing all these hard-fought games that go down to the wire, watching Kansas City pretty much win with ease on their way to a 6-0 start. This division is really weak right now, and if we lose this game to Kansas City, they're going to be sitting comfortably atop the West. Yeah, Chris Jones is one of those guys I really dread having to play against. Those elite interior players just wreck the game like nobody else. Not giving them any bulletin board material here. Last time we played the Chiefs, by the way, playoff game, 24-0. So this is our first meeting since. Hoping practice starts to let up on the injuries. And this week... We actually, oh, we lost one player, Quinton Lake. We still have a few players on the injury report. Should get Devin White back soon, Jack Jones as well. There aren't too many injuries that are throughout the league. Not seeing really many season enders or anything like that. But Jalen Hurts has one of the most major injuries so far with a dislocated ankle. Sean Childress getting an upgrade. We're going pass protector. When you're facing Chris Jones the next game, it's not a bad idea. I hope y'all are enjoying the episodes. I think it's been a really fun return to this style of series, and I'm enjoying the shortened games combined with more of a full game to not have to simulate as much of the year, and you can see how some of these games end. just think it adds a lot when there are big moments late in games, and it seems every game for us has some sort of critical major event going on. But we got one more to go through today. I think this video will be up on Sunday. So a nice meaty Raiders episode here for you. And we got Stockton starting off with a connection with Jacoby Myers. Stockton drops back deep. Fires outside, but couldn't get it to Adams. Here's Stockton on second down. He completes to Michael Mayer, close to the sticks. Now they tell the fullback to get out there. Third and inches. But passing on the fourth straight play. First down, Mayer. I think Dallas has fixed their season. Down below, they just blew out Detroit 49-10. Stockton, fifth straight pass, has Adams now. Don't be afraid to run the ball, guys. This is kind of one of the points of emphasis in this episode. And on second down, Stockton says, I'm throwing. I'm going deep. Caught by Rashad Bateman. Down to the six. 37 on that play. Stockton pumps, fires, touchdown, Devontae Adams. We didn't run the ball a single time, and we didn't need to. Welcome to the new look Raiders, Kansas City. Couldn't score in the wild card. We got seven already. Chiefs ball, Isaiah Pacheco has a big lane and picks up 11. Second straight, Pacheco breaks a tackle and is spun around, gaining another first down. Now Mahomes to pass, floating out and back across the middle. He sees everything. Caught by Rasheed Rice. Remember back when they had the vision cone in Madden and like Peyton Manning's was the entire field nearly? That's Patrick Mahomes here, seeing everybody and he dumps this to Pacheco. 
I think the vision cone was a really good idea. I wish that they had left it in as an optional mechanic. Second down, caught by Rice inside the 20. Caught by Tony now inside the 10. We got seven. Chiefs trying to match it. Third and goal. Triangle of receivers on the right side. Mahomes buying time and gets sacked. How is that an incomplete pass? In no world is that incomplete. Should be a sack for Tyree Wilson. I think this will be ruled a sack. Like, he didn't lose the ball until his knee was about down. Okay, I need to settle down. It wasn't an incomplete pass. Tyree Wilson back, making sure everybody knows it. On their next possession, Raiders across midfield. Stockton heads to the air. Underneath, it's Adams at the 40. 11 passes to one run. This is really out of nowhere. We often are 50-50. On the toss, Jacobs loses one. Start of the second now. Toss to Jacobs. He's got the opening. Inside the 30. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Raiders. Another big play for this offense. And now lead by two scores. Um, what just happened? 71 yard touchdown Rasheed Rice happened. We move ahead later in the first half. 14-10, halftime approaching. Stockton at the 31, gets it over the middle. That's Adams. Two minutes left to go. Wide open is Myers, and he escapes the first defender and gets the first down. Four-man rush. Stockton drives it to Adams. Really efficient in this game. We're seeing some really good ball out of Stockton. Adams on the slant. First down. Blitz coming. That's caught by Myers. Stockton's in the zone right now. Just a quick drop and Adams is there. And we might use our last time out there. They get stingy with the last one. So we're down to about 18 seconds. Can we get a shot here at the end zone? No, it's Mayer. And he's going to get stopped, and that's going to probably force us to just settle now. Oh, do y'all know what you're doing here? This is the Madden game management you have to worry about. Stockton throws it away with three seconds left. Pretty happy with that first half. But a seven-point lead at halftime against Patrick Mahomes means nothing to me. It's the third quarter, and the Chiefs trail by seven. We had a couple drives where they traded punts to start this half, so we're not fresh out of halftime. Travis Kelsey hasn't retired yet in this franchise. That's one we're going to be hoping for here. But now three minutes to go in the third. Laser for Rice. Time for Mahomes, knocked away. Covered well by Trayvon Merrig. Caught by Rice on the fly and into Raider territory. Big pickup. That connection's been really good. Mahomes hits Kelsey again. That has a nine yard gain. Another fake. Oh, that could lose yardage there. Pacheco loses one. Epps on the play. It'll be third down. Tossing out to Pacheco for the first down. Neither team really running the football much in this game or all that effectively. We got ourselves a good quarterback duel. 
17-10, Chiefs on the move, fourth quarter approaching. Rolling right into Wilson, and down goes Mahomes. Our defense has really done a good job against them in uh, four games we've met in the series. Mahomes has a connection with Hardman. We held them to under 20 points of offense twice last year and then 24 nothing in the postseason, but that was with no support from the offense and a bunch of mistakes. Kelsey to the 21, and that's going to make it fourth down. I'd say the Chiefs would probably go for it here, yeah. Kelsey is the right of the formation. They run it. Pacheco spins away. Powers inside the 10. They took it out of Mahomes' hands and made the play. Nobody over the top of Tony here. On first down. Caught. Inside the two is McCall Hardman. Pacheco ties the game with a touchdown. We're going down to the wire again, guys. Can we do what we need to do to beat Kansas City? Jacobs fighting through the middle. Only his seventh carry. We got to feed him more late. Another one. First down, Jacobs making a move down to the 44. Another one for Jacobs, letting him take over this drive. Gain of nine. They got Irwin in the game here. Got a lot of fun stuff here in the I form and offset. First down, Jacobs. We've only had 40 snaps run to this point. And this is Stockton off the mark for Mayer. Only his fourth in completion. Out of the eye, off the fake. Floating right to Bateman for the first. Jacobs wrapped up on the play. Against us, we've seen Willie Gay make a ton of big plays like that. And that's going to bring up third down. I don't want to go up just a field goal here. We keep it on the ground, and Jacobs is chased down for a loss. 49-yard try for Daniel Carlson. Gets it up, and the kick is good. The Chiefs trail by three. Pacheco trying to cut outside meets Robert Spillane. After this game, we're going to get Devin White back. And we can cut this lead of Kansas City's down a bit. Kelsey with the catch at the 45. But if we can't hold on and we lose this game, it's going to be tough to go win the division this year. It almost becomes wild card or nothing. Just a handful of weeks into the season. Less than three to play. Rice makes the catch. There's just no slowing down Mahomes when he gets hot like this. A buck 53 for Rasheed Rice. 222 left. Mahomes has Hardman for seven. Too much time through the hands of Kelsey. Covered pretty well on that play by Marcus Blades. We're hoping to force him into a field goal try. Third down. Here comes Epps. Incomplete for Hardman. And it was denied by the former chief, Legereus Sneed. I don't know where Harrison Butker is. This is Blake Groupie. For the tie from 48. And the kick is good. Adams on the catch as we get started here. Trying to win the game on this possession. 10 catches for Devontae Adams. We got a minute 30 to get in field goal range. On the screen, Jacobs for the first. 
A minute to go behind his target and off the mark. Deep drop. Stockton looking long. Caught by Adams. He did it. Down to the 27. And now trying to set up the game winner. Jacobs for three. Jacobs, big lane, on his way inside the 10. Chiefs are out of timeouts. Just run inside zone here, that's a soft box. Or the keeper, yeah, cover the ball. Down to the three. Carlson, chip shot, we're back in front. We did leave the Chiefs a few seconds though. Mahomes has done some incredible things, but this would be something pretty unique. Six seconds left to go. He's got to launch it. A rainbow, that is out of bounds, and the Raiders have beat the Chiefs. We're going to make it a battle this year for the AFC West. Good win. Nice episode for us overall. 23-20. We never trailed against them. Very impressive. Stockton goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patrick Mahomes and basically copies his stat line. Josh Jacobs, a lot of good games today. Two over 100. This one was close. I just think the first few games were kind of an anomaly and nothing to really worry about. Devontae's off to an extremely hot start. I really want to see what his numbers look like. We got 2,500 experience earlier for one of the scenarios and a key victory we got. Now we beat the Chiefs and everybody gets 2,500 again. That's a productive way to get to 4-3 and three on the season. And in seven games, here are the stats with Denzel Stockton at 16 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. I mean, you couldn't really ask for much more than this. Today was a really productive episode for him, going 10-2, touchdown to interception. Josh Jacobs is back to his old self, took his average from 3.7 to 5.1 today. And then Devontae Adams, who has nine touchdowns already. Currently, he is second in the league in receiving yards, Rasheed Rice way out in front. And he is number one in receiving touchdowns. Now we're about to get Devin White back. We have the trade deadline. Things are starting to look pretty good for this team. I know the record isn't spectacular, but the way we're playing, we should be able to go on our run at some point in the second half. Looking at our numbers, that run defense does worry me a little bit, being 30th. You don't have to have the best run defense, but you usually can't get away with having one of the worst. That'll be a job for another day. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode today. That was a lot of fun. Wow, Alex Collins is having one heck of a season. The Seattle rookie is flying up the charts now. 14 touchdowns, 7 picks, 70% completion. He's a star dev rookie. Seattle, though, only a two-win team right now. That's a rough season here going for Drew Peters of the Vikings at 7 touchdowns, 12 picks. Oh wow, Mahomes still hasn't been intercepted this year. I feel like this happens in a lot of my series where he just doesn't throw picks. I wanted to see George Garrison because he was the first pick of the Jets this year. Remember, he has like 47 injury. He's extremely injury prone. But if he's on the field, he is a franchise-level quarterback, potentially. Jets are, you know, they're, I think, same record as us. Josh Jacobs back in front right now for the rushing title. So nothing to worry about with him. That's going to end today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments as we approach the trade deadline and a critical portion of the schedule. I'm looking forward to continuing more of the Raiders franchise and hopefully keeping up our fast pace to the series. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.